everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Kyle and this is Kaizen DIY Gym. Last fall, I put up this French cleat storage system in my basement. I took a whole bunch of footage, but I never got around to posting the tutorial until now. The French cleat storage system has been around for a long time, but I've primarily only seen it in garages and workshops as a way to organize tools. The Kurt Locker was the first home gym guy that I ever saw use this for gym equipment. The French cleat garage gym storage. <laughs> Freaking brilliant. In building my French cleat storage system, I took a lot of inspiration from the Kurt Locker. Okay, here goes. In my case, I'm adding drywall before putting up the French cleats. If you already have drywall, you can skip this step. In an attempt to not get paint all over my equipment and rubber flooring, I decided to paint my drywall panels in my garage prior to installing. I have two main areas that are perfect for French cleats. The first is this spot behind my fringe sport rack. Currently, there's a small portion of drywall and the rest is just the frame for the wall and it's covered in flags. Adding storage here is a much better use of space. The second spot is another framed portion of a wall. I start by removing my rack and all the equipment blocking the wall. Then I rip down the existing drywall and expose the messy storage area behind it. The newly painted drywall panels fit nicely. I put the other full panel in the second spot and secure it to the studs. The next panel needs to be cut down in order to fit. I cut it and then I paint it. The cleats themselves are just one inch thick pieces of pine cut at a 45 degree angle. This this can also be done with plywood instead of pine. Once I set up my table saw with a 45 degree angle and set the fence at the right width, I'm able to just bang out a ton of these pieces. With these being super visible in my videos, I want to add some wood stain to really make them pop. This step is completely optional, but definitely worth it in my opinion. Once I cut them all to the proper length, they're ready to go up. I use a scrap piece of wood as a spacer for the bottom and make sure it's level before I fasten the first piece to the studs. I use that same scrap of wood to space out the other piece Pieces and just work my way up the wall slowly and carefully. I do the same thing with the big wall, making sure to secure to the studs. The spacing of the cleats is entirely up to you. The closer together they are, the more height options you'll have, but the more material you'll end up using. There's always a trade-off. Once all the cleats are on the wall, the next step is to make attachments to hold my equipment. I made a bunch of stuff, but I only really took video of the first few attachments. I made a holder for my ab mat. The idea was basically to just make a box with an open top. I used my ab mat as a size reference. Once the box portion is done, I add a small section of cleat to the back. Sanding is optional, but if you're already going through all this work, you might as well. Then I add wood stain to match everything else. Another quick project is storage for bands and other miscellaneous items. I made this out of scrap wood. I use a stopper to ensure my dowels are all cut to the same length. Then I mark where I want to drill my holes. These only go halfway through, and then I go back with a smaller bit and drill through the rest of the way. I take off the sharp edges with a roundover bit on my router. I add screws through the back side to secure the dowels in place. Then add the cleat to the back. I add wood stain, let it dry, and the next day it's ready to go.
after about six months of building French cleat attachments, here's what I got on my wall. I've got my tattoo flash up here, got my super cool LED sign. The batteries are low, so it's not lighting up right now. I made some storage for my triangle adjustable dumbbells. On this wall here, I have a holder for my preacher pad, got a holder for my ab mat spacers, my barbell bomb. Got sick plate storage, bro. And then there's that ab mat holder. Here's the band holder and miscellaneous stuff. It is a mess. It is rather messy, but much better hanging up than uh, have all that mess on the ground. And here's my other storage area. I really love how I'm able to store my safety spotter arms on this one. This is kind of a cheat I'd used at like garage hooks and then attach that to a panel. And then uh, another one down there. The only limit is your imagination. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing. I'll see you next time.